Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So we learned how to save data into Firebase real-time database, how to get the saved data back and how to get the real-time updates of database changes. In this video, we will learn how we can update and delete the existing data in our Firebase real-time database. So I did some UI changes. I created two buttons in our recycler view. One is for edit and one is for delete. And here are the changes that I did. It is inside recycler view author.xml. Now if you don't want to code it yourself, the design changes, then you can get my source code. The link is given in the description of this video. So I just added two buttons at the end and now we need to attach click listener to these buttons and we will do it inside our authors adapter inside on bind view holder function. So what we will do is we will write holder dot view dot button edit dot set on click listener like this. And then we will do the same thing with button delete. Now to get the callback inside our fragment, we need to create a listener. So we will create a Kotlin file class and we will create an interface and I will name it recycler view click listener like this. Now we will create an interface here recycler view click listener. And inside this interface, I will create one function that is fun on recycler view item click. You can name your function anything. We don't need the function body here because it is an abstract function. But to this function, we will pass the view that is clicked and the author that was clicked. So we have view and author here. We can also pass position, but I think we don't need it. So we have two parameters here inside this function. Now come back to authors adapter and here we will create private where listener of type recycler view click listener and we will make it nullable and the initial value is null. Now whenever we will click on edit or delete button, we will send the callback using the listener that we just created. So we will write listener then the null safety operator dot on recycler view item click. And here we will pass the view that was clicked which is at let me show you it is it if we write it like this then you can see it is the view that is clicked and in the next parameter we will pass authors position the selected author the same way we will do it here so we will receive the callback with the help of this listener that we created inside our authors fragment but first we need to implement the listener so we need to implement recycler if you click listener here then we need to override the function so we have override fun on recycler view item click we have the function here now what we need to do is we need to define the click listener of the adapter and we can do it here adapter dot listener I think I defined the listener as private we can do it we need to define it as package default so we have var listener I removed the private now go back to authors fragment and here we will write adapter dot listener equals to this because we have the interface implemented on this class now we will get a callback whenever we will click here or here and to differentiate which button was clicked we will use this view so here we will write when view dot id and we have two cases r dot id dot 
button edit then we have r dot id dot button delete like this now when we will press on button edit we need to open a dialog like this to edit the existing author so i will create one more dialog and i will copy the same dialog and i will change the name to edit author dialog fragment this time we will send the author that was selected as a parameter here and we need to remove all the things here so we will leave these codes as it is we will change a few things but later for now we need to display the author that is clicked and we will do it inside on activity created so here we will write we have edit text name so we will use edit text name dot text equals to author dot name like this and we cannot do it with edit text but we need to call the set text function so we have the author's name inside our edit text now we just need to call this dialog fragment when the edit button is pressed so come back to author's fragment and here we will write edit author dialog fragment we will pass the selected author dot show here we need to pass child fragment manager and for the tag we will pass an empty string fine now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not you can see we are getting the dialog but i think we need to create a new ui where we will write update author and we will change the button text to update so let's copy the dialog fragment xml as well and we will rename it to edit author like this this time we will change to edit author and we will define the string as edit author like this and then we will update the add to update like this now we will use this layout file to our edit author dialog fragment so we have dialog fragment edit author here and everything is fine now when we press this button we need to update the selected author and to update the author again we will define a function inside our authors view model and let's define fun update author here we will pass the new author that we need to update and what we will do is we will do the same thing actually so we have the add author here so we can copy the same code so let's copy and paste it here now you need to understand how update works in firebase database the point is we will override the existing author with the new values and the author will be updated so this time we won't push a new author to the author's node but we will use the existing author id so we will use db authors dot child author id dot set value and the new author and everything is fine so we need to call this function from our edit author dialog fragment and here instead of calling uh, add author we will call update author but we won't create a new author instance this time but we will use the author that we passed while opening this dialog to the edit author dialog fragment constructor so this is the existing author we passed it we get the new name 
we set the new name to the existing author and we update the existing author by calling this update author function that's all now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not so we have our application here let's try updating bella so i will click here i will update my name as bilal khan now let's click on update and you can see the database is updated but the changes are not getting reflected in our application this is because inside our authors view model we used just this function we also need to use on child changed function so here what we will do we will do actually the same thing we need to copy all these three lines and we need to paste it here like this so we have the changed author here but the point is we need to update our list as well we are getting the author but it won't update our list this is because this author is already inside our list so what we need to do is we need to write and else here inside our authors adapter add author function so if the author is already in the list we will update that particular author so we need to write authors dot index of and we will pass our author and this way we can get the index of the author that we need to update so we have the index now what we will do is we will write authors index equals to author and again we need to notify the data set changed so let's do it outside the f because in both cases we are updating our list or we are calling this function now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not now let's try updating Bilal Khan again. So I will remove the Khan this time. Let's update and you can see our list is updated. So the update is working absolutely fine. Now we need to delete the author and to delete anything in our Firebase database, we just need to put null as the value. So if we put null as the value of this node, the author is automatically deleted. So let's see how we can do this. Again, we will create one more function inside our authors view model. So we have add author, we have fetch authors, we have update author, and now we will create fun delete author. Again, we will take author. Now we need to delete this author. And to delete it, we will simply copy the same code. So copy. But this time, we will set the value as null. And the author will be deleted. Let me show you. But first, we need to call this function. So we will go inside authors fragment. And whenever the button delete is clicked, we need to call view model dot delete author and we will pass the author but before deleting it is recommended that we should display an alert dialog and let's display so we will display an alert dialog so we have alert dialog dot builder and we can pass require context here then also it dot set title and we will set the title as get string r dot string dot delete confirmation so let's define this string inside our strings dot xml first are you sure you want to delete now go back to authors fragment and here we have the delete confirmation string. Now we will set a positive button. The text would be again get string r dot string dot yes and then on click listener from dialog interface. And actually we can put it outside like this. 
so let's define the yes string first so go inside strings.xml and here we will define string yes and yes we are getting some error this is because we need to define dialog and which as a parameter here to this lambda so we have the positive button here and when this button is pressed we will call the delete author that's all now finally we need to create and show the dialog that's all so let's test if it is working or not so let's click on this button we are getting an alert dialog press yes and you can see Bilal is deleted but again we are not getting the changes reflected in our application this is because we need to use the function that is inside our authors view model we need to use this function on child remove and again we will do the same thing here and this time this author is removed from our database but, but the problem is how do we know that this author is deleted so what we can do is we can define one more property that is excluded inside our authors class so here we can define where is deleted of type boolean equals to false now we will make it true to determine the author is deleted so let's go back to authors view model and here before adding the author inside this function on child remove before adding the author to our mutable live data we will put author dot is deleted equals to true and with the help of this boolean variable we will know that this author is deleted and we need to remove this author from our list so let's go to authors adapter and here we will check if author is deleted we will delete the author else we will update the existing author so here we will delete the author so we will write authors dot remove at and we will pass the index and finally we are calling this notify data set changed to update our list so let's run the application to see if it is working or not so let's try deleting this one press yes you can see the author is deleted from the list so it is working absolutely fine so we are now done with the CRUD operations that are create, read, update and delete. And that is all for this video friends. If you are having any confusion or question feel free to comment it below. And in case you like this video then please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.